your first. Hey, Diddly O. And welcome. Uh, tonight's camp adventure with me is for the August challenge. Brought to you by Hojangles of the Stuff Camping Alliance. And she requests that we have gadgets. I don't know if my gadgets are going to be good enough, but we'll just find out now. Yay. Okay. I'm walking to who knows where for this little adventure. Peace. Hey, look what I found. I'm styling now with these bad boys. Yeah. Artemy Matey. All right. Almost there. I'll catch up with you. Already here I am. In my general locale. This all used to be concrete and they decided to dig it up and they got their first layer of blacktop down. Yay! I'm hoping that the business that I'm going to will uh, be able to accommodate me for the evening. But nowadays, a lot of these businesses like to put up those little cameras doohickeys all right when I get closer I'll let you know there are so many cameras like right there on every corner of this building see right there there's one over that door and the other door I had my eye on this building. Let's take a peek. What do we got? Shit, looks like there's a camera. Right there. Could be a light. Move around to the outside. Yeah, that camera's, looks like it's a camera. Pointing to the loading dock. Which I thought this loading dock had railings on both sides, but it doesn't. I was gonna set up right there. But it looks like I might be able to set up. Right under these trees. This looks like a good spot. Not too noisy. Just enough coverage. Oh yeah. Now gotta find one more thing. Oh it looks like I may have found what I'm looking for. I'll bring it back. Check it out. Somebody looks like somebody's living in there. It's empty. Yeah, reflection. Well, uh, I just realized something. I ain't got no tent stakes uh, for my tarp. But uh, I might be able to fashion something together here with these tree limbs. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I just have to see. Well, I got a few tree branches underneath me. I might get it to work after all. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we better get this shindig on the road, right on. Shall we? Well, I'm going to say this, and this is going to be a high risk. That's the road right there. Hmm. That's a big old spider web up there. Here might be alright, but you know, 
I got all these businesses floating around. <laughs> oh, deal with it. <laughs> Let's go for it, why don't we? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm like wide open. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you out in a bit. All right, well, you can't tell part of my tent is up or my setup, but because I forgot tent stakes, I have to make some. So I'm gonna use my big giant multi-tool. First, saw some pieces off. Unfortunately, it's gotta be four. Let's get you in a better position. There you go. Hey, now you can see what I'm cutting. Well, here we are. Camp. Same basic setup, pretty much. Um, you know, I've got my gear there. One thing that I was going to hopefully showcase today was this water key. But this building doesn't need it. So, with that being said, I guess what I'm going to do now is. Step two tonight. <coughs> yep. All right. That being said, um, I'm gonna show you guys around in a few minutes, or a few minutes for me in a second for you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna show you guys around. That's where I came in over by that pickup truck. This is all industrial. Uh, let's see. That building right there, there's people working. Got ourselves a little pond over here. Or a big pond. Oh, that sunset looks sweet. I thought I heard somebody talking. There is the road. I'm not going to go out there because. Oh, there goes a jeep. Didn't pay any attention to me. But, yeah, pretty much it. I actually stopped here during on my Rambo challenge, but this building was occupied by the newspaper companies. All the delivery personnel would come here, pick up their papers, and not knowing what time they actually got here, would have been a bad idea. So with that, this is another kind of a revisit. If you look, there's that hydrant within the parking lot and that red dot right there is another hydrant. But I don't see anybody noticing me. Okay, I'm out. All right, so this is what I gotta say. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. Hashtag Get Outdoors. Hashtag <laughs> I don't give up. <clears throat> Hashtag Step Two. Hashtag <laughs> Hell Yeah.
All right, I'm out. Okay. <clears throat> Before I forget this piece of gadget, uh, I use it. Technically, I actually use it every time I go out stealth camping or even camping in my own yard. It's a solar-powered charger. Uh, I've used it multiple times. I really like it. It's actually my second one because the first one broke. But yeah, I use it every time I camp. And this one is by Stealth Angel. And they back up their products. It's got this one's fun. It's got the LED, it's got the light on it. I'm not gonna show it directly in your face or in the lens. Come on. It's got a button for the light. There it goes. Tap it. It's got the SOS. And then it's got a flash. And you press it again, and you're all done. So those are the gadgets that I brought with me tonight. You know, I bring, I've started to bring less and less. I mean, my my gear fits that I brought is in a 36 liter bag. Go figure. Because one thing that I have learned and figured out over the course of these years of doing Stealth Camping Alliance and just camping in general, hiking. Think like a homeless person. I've seen homeless people I've out here where I live. I mean, I've got at least a half dozen. And when I see them, I got one guy that drives in a car. I got one, I've got, there's multiples that carry a, a bag, no bigger than a um, book bag. And they carry all their stuff in. I'm just like, Shh, I gotta, I gotta get into that mindset. So, uh, how sh again, hashtag South Camping Alliance. Thank you, Hojangles, for this challenge. Um, you know, my stuff that I have, I, gadget wise, I don't always like to carry with me, personally. You know what? I'm going to finish this step two. I'm going to chillax a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to go to sleep. Sorry, mosquito. Oh, hell. I got to get, get up somewhat early tomorrow, get home. Uh, turn in, technic, I'm about a 30-minute walk from here, which is nice. And uh, my 16-year-old and I and a buddy of his were going down to Michigan's Woodward Dream Cruise this weekend. So it'll be one week after this video comes out. And it'll be the same weekend that my 16-year-old and I are going to be up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan watching a rallyway race. And there will be some footage of that as well coming out. Yeah, you know what to do. If you got something to say about it, hit me up down on the bottom there. You know what that is. The comment section. And I'll get back with you. If I like your comment, you know, you'll get you'll get the hefty little thumbs up and little heart C or C symbol. Other than that, you know, I might reply to you. No, thanks for the comment. But anyway, with that being said, if anything changes, like the po-po ride through because of where I'm at, then, uh, you know, I'll try to get you at speed. All right. Peace out. It's quarter to nine. Cool. It's uh, going to cool off tonight. I got my hoodie on. I got my blanket in there. I'm good. All right. Peace. All right. So, we make for an interesting night. Because I've got a light and dead in front of me. That's right. Let's see if I can get some sleep. It's almost 10 o'clock. And I got to get up early. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and germs, I will catch y'all later. Peace. the fuck all right so i underestimated how cold it actually was getting i cannot stay warm too these ever loving lights are bu bugging the crap out of me and three that vehicle that rolled through here has drawn me for some concern but i the vehicle i'm less worried about than these freaking lights in this cold i thought i was going to be warm enough in my blanket only using my hoodie as a pillow. Guess what? It's that. So my ass is gonna fucking uh, turn around and pack up and sleep in a more uncomfortable spot. Fuck ever. Alright. Another fucked up video by Kevin here. Hope y'all enjoyed. Well, ladies and gents, if you stuck with me for this, thank you. There wasn't much excitement, except for the car that pulled in and turned around, and whoever it was got out and put something on. I don't know. Maybe she was naked. Fuck it. Alright. It's like midnight. Plus, I'd been sl sleeping in my car. On the ground, maybe. Whatever. All right. All right. I gotta make a hike back. Catch me on the next fucked up adventure. See y'all later.